accessing your femininity in this world is very difficult because I feel like there's so much masculine aggression towards feminine women that they they don't understand femininity like they they never did they never will like if you didn't appreciate it in the 40s and the 20s and the 40s you'll never appreciate it now so there's so little feminine women out there i feel like even less than masculine men because men set the tone men set the tone in this world and the men they didn't want feminine women anymore. They didn't want soft feminine women. Because quite honestly, if men wanted soft feminine women, they would set the tone for that. And they would want it. They would they would get it for themselves. But they don't make women feel safe anymore. Women don't feel trusted around these confused men. Like men are so confused. Like it starts with the men, you know, and women, all we do is just bounce off of whatever's going on. You know, we might have our own internal belief in ourselves, but men, men, you are nothing but external. You do actions, you have goals, and you you do what you gotta do. The internalness of a man is not as strong as a woman. A woman's internal emotions, internal conflicts, internal confidence is bigger than a man. It's huge and it's always bounced off of a man or someone else. It's never truly internally sourced. Whereas a man can internally just get up and go, get up and go do it. You know, like he can t dead ass tell himself to go do it. A healthy masculine man, okay? There's a lot of feminine men out there too that can't get the job done, that, you know, uses excuses and forces women to help you know, and puts women down because they, they think that the women are the problem. Like, the problem is everyone, okay? The problem is literally everyone. And navigating your femininity as a woman is by far the hardest thing because masculine women are out here just reassuring the fact that they can be masculine. And masculine men are looking at these masculine women and it's almost like a competition. Like it's easier for a man to be masculine nowadays than a woman to be feminine. That's, that's what I believe. That's what I truly believe. I truly believe it's harder for a woman to be feminine than for a man to be masculine because there's so much masculinity out here. There's so much of people really trying to get to the top, trying to be that girl, that bitch, or that guy, that man, being like the top of the food chain. Where these feminine women now are like feeling feeling skittish. We're feeling unsafe. We're feeling untrusting of all these masculine people that really have this huge ego in this world. This huge, like, unrealistic point of view of themselves and the world because they're the masculine people are the ones driving everyone away because who wants to be around masculinity all the time you know seriously like masculinity is aggressive masculinity is some it's sometimes negative most of the time it is negative because it's it's like this powerful force that's intimidating like it's a presence masculinity is a presence and masculinity is more intimidating than femininity like, if you were to put a true masculine man and a true feminine woman in the same room, like, who are you more intimidated by? The soft feminine woman or the harsh masculine man? You know, the masculine man. He sets the tone. He sets the tone in wherever he is, what room he's at, who he's with. He sets the tone. And that's why we are the way we are right now. You know, not to not take accountability in my life, but it's not like I created this history. It's not like I, me, myself alone, created this mess of a world. No, it was a mixture of a bunch of feminine men that got insecure of women doing the same job as them. Literally, it became a competition. Masculinity became a competition between the sexes. And now it's even, it's harder to tap into our femininity as a woman now. We have to literally take ourselves away from the masculine. Like, to be feminine, you need to, like, 
have peace alone first it's like you really need to tap into your your inner child you need to tap into your creativity nature mother nature mother nature is the best way to tap into femininity by far the best that i've discovered for myself like going outside by myself going sitting by a tree or even climbing a tree like just being around nature allows me to sink into my thoughts a little better and to find more positivity being around all this masculinity, all this fast life bull crap in my face, it makes me feel like I'm in competition with nothing. Like, with a figment of my imagination, you know? That's not femininity. Femininity doesn't need competition. Femininity just needs grace. Grace, peace, freedom, creativity, beauty, love, light. Like, things that a man can't bring. Like, as, if you're a masculine woman, how can you bring those things? How can you bring those things for yourself? If you do, it's in a glimpse. It's a glimpse maybe like when you're showering, when you're, you know, self-caring yourself. Self-care as a woman is essential. Essential. Just like a man with testosterone, okay? It's essential for a woman to take care of herself. Because if we take care of ourselves, we are feeling good we're in our femininity that internal conflict is turned down we have a new internal confidence that a man naturally already has in himself and i'm not saying all men are the same i'm not saying all women are the same i'm generalizing this simple fact that femininity is harder to find than masculinity and as a woman who is feminine it's hard for me to seriously tap into my creative space every single day. Like, why is it? Why is that difficult? Why can't I just pick up a paintbrush and paint something? Why can't I just start recording and know exactly what to say? Why can't I just read a book and really dive into the, the story? It's hard. It's hard when you're surrounded by this harshness in life. It's hard. And this is why I talk about being sheltered as a kid is so important because you lose it. Once you lose it, you can't go back. Like you can't unswallow a pill. Once you swallow it, it's done. It's in there. There's no going back. Like there's no going back to that childhood. There's no going back to that perspective, that fresh perspective that everything is good and dandy. And you know, being feminine, you're supposed to feel safe. You're supposed to feel trusting of the world. You're supposed to be, feel trusting at least of people around you. And if you don't, if you're a wounded feminine and you're just trying to tap into it, you're just going day by day, trying so hard to really tap into your femininity. Like, it's hard. And I have a couple tips that I do, but it's still hard. Like, it's still hard for me to tap into my femininity every single day and to truly be in my creativity like it's really hard there's a lot of back and forth of like oh should it be 50 50 should it be you know the man takes care of everything at this point in 2024 do what you want to do there is no right or wrong like at this point as long as you understand your femininity and your masculinity and you understand yourself and your relationship it does not matter doesn't matter they 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 the government or the people that have control over economy want you to feel like you have to be single because marriage is cheaper being married is cheaper for you and it's more expensive for the economy you know what I mean? Like, if there's two people buying a house, if two people want to buy a house, or two people want to buy a car, and they get married, they don't buy two houses, they buy one house. You know what I'm saying? They want us to be single. They want us to feel alone. And it's up to us to regenerate this true feminine, true masculine aura in ourselves. Because our presence is everything. And that's why eye contact is dead eye contact is dead because there is no presence there's no aura 
if you are giving eye contact to someone, it's probably because they have a huge in presence, an intimidating masculine or a soft feminine presence that you can't ignore because it's in your face. That's why there's less eye contact. There's less people looking at each other. There's more people just looking down or looking up, thinking that they're better than everyone. That's what it is. There's no presence. It's just being. We're just going day by day, trying to navigate life. And our femininity is just being tackled. It's being dimmed. All femininity is dimmed. It's dimmed. The way I tap into my femininity is quite honestly, I, it's hard, but I wake up every morning and I do my skincare, do my beauty routine. Like I, I want to make sure I feel good, look good. When I first wake up, you know, when I first wake up, that is the first hour of you being present and being aware of what you're doing and what you want to do for the day. So for a woman, if it's your beauty you're paying attention to, that's the first feminine thing you should be doing is something for your beauty, something for yourself to feel good, you know? And then I like to write down a lot of my, my interests, my aspirations. I like to write. Writing is my creative headspace. Painting used to be my creative headspace, but it's not anymore. Like there used to be a lot of things I used to do as a feminine woman and I don't do them anymore. It's hard to tap back into it. And even going outside, like I could say, yeah, I go outside and sit by a tree, but are you going outside and like looking at the leaves? Are you touching anything? Are you picking flowers? Like you need to be doing something that resonates with you and resonates with your soul, resonates with your inner child. That's what femininity is. Femininity is basically your inner child, okay? It's not this harsh adult life. Like it's not. This harsh adult life is masculine energy i'm telling you having children is a woman's version of a harsh life or a harsh adult life okay once a woman bears children she's no longer just a girl she's a a woman a mother and that is her version of a harsh adult life whereas a man he provides as soon as he turns 13 as soon as he becomes a man like he's no longer a boy people don't look at boys as little boys anymore they're young men you know a, a little girl is never a young woman until she has a child or until she's really grown into her 20s and maybe she has like something going on for herself oh a girl is always going to be a young girl until she has a child i'm telling you right now that is how it is and that's how we all look at each other subconsciously subconsciously if you look at a 14 year old boy and a 14 year old girl the 14 year old boy has a little bit more responsibilities as a young man than the 14 year old girl because th that's just how the world looks at the boy the world looks at the boy already as a young man so for us women to tap into our femininity we need to tap into our inner child that is the answer and whatever that is for you it could be something so small as in picking flowers outside or grounding yourself in the grass with your feet, writing in a journal, writing a short story, reading a poem. These little things that you used to do as a kid resonate with who you are now and you need to tap back into it. It is your femininity. It is your strength. It is your presence, your presence, your aura, because all this masculine energy is just a presence. It's just an aura that is disrupting us. It's disrupting you, it's disrupting me. And quite honestly, it makes us all feel like we're in competition. It's just this constant energy, this constant, like it's even on the internet, it's all over. Everyone wants to be the best at everything. Everyone wants to drop the content and think that they're the best doing it. You know, it's a constant masculine competition out here and us feminine women, we need to shy away from it and tap into who we are. Sometimes what it takes is to be alone, okay? Sometimes what it takes is to really take a step back from your situation and just tap back into who you used to be. Tap back into what used to make you happy as a woman. You know, tap, tap back into like your aura what you want to resonate with others, how you want to resonate with others. How soft do you want to be? Do you want to be soft 
or do you want to just go along with the world and let the world take you? Because that's exactly what will happen. That's it today. I wanted to talk about how femininity is honestly the hardest thing to tap back into as a woman because there's just not much of it. There's not much of it out here. It's pretty rare. And I feel like talking about it helps me, helps me navigate my femininity and why, you know, I, why I want to be soft, why everything is so harsh. And it's just, it's just good to acknowledge it. It's good to talk about it. And yeah, I hope I help some of you and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.